we're going to go through the symptoms of influenza A versus the symptoms of influenza B. I'm also going to talk to you about some of the complications of getting the flu. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to, good to see you. All right. So general symptoms of the flu, you probably know. Fever, chills, muscle aches, headache, fatigue, sore throat, nasal congestion, stuffy nose. Maybe in kids, you might get some nausea, vomiting. The flu makes you usually feel like you've been hit by a bus. Now comes the question of how the symptoms of influenza A differ from the symptoms of influenza B. Now, I should say that in years past, we have typically thought of influenza A symptoms as being more likely to be more severe than influenza B symptoms. However, there have been some studies and more recent data that suggest that they may, that may not actually be the case. One study in particular showed that in adults, uh, the rates of uh, hospitalization and deaths were the same for influenza A and influenza B. Um, there still may be some differences. However, please understand that you can have mild to severe illness with both influenza A and influenza B. It depends on your underlying conditions, who you are, and so many other factors. How would you know? If you have influenza A versus B, um, you're going to have to get tested for that. You're not going to know based on your symptoms, okay? Um, you have to, get, have to get tested, like some of the over-the-counter tests and then office ER tests, et cetera, will tell us. Now, what's the difference in symptoms? Like, which symptoms do you have with influenza A versus influenza B? Well, it's going to be the same things as the general flu symptoms that I mentioned in the beginning. It's going to be probably some combination of fever, chills, muscle aches, headache, fatigue, all those stuff. It's go that's going to be the same for influenza A and influenza B. The next thing I wanted to mention is that there can be very severe complications of getting the flu. This is why we tell everybody to get the flu shot. By the way, the flu shot will cover some influenza A, some influenza B based on the particular strains are most likely thought to be circulating that year. Okay, so it does cover both of those strange, strains, whatever is chosen, okay? Um, but potential sequela or consequences of getting the flu, that is really bad, which is why we don't want you to get the flu at all and why we want you to get your flu shot. Um, let's start with the bad stuff, okay? You can get myositis, which is an inflammation of your muscles. Your muscles can literally burn and start being coming inflamed, potentially breaking down because of the flu. This can be really bad. Also, there can be things like um, heart inflammation, uh, myocarditis. You hear the word inflammation, I keep throwing around because the flu can cause lots of inflammation with the heart, with the muscles. Also, you can get an pneumonia. You might start off with the flu virus, but that can lead to uh, increasing your risk and your chances for getting a pneumonia, which is another problem, of course. You can get brain encephalitis, sort of an inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. Some people actually get multi-organ failure as a result of having the flu. You can also get things like sinus infections or even ear infections. I've often gotten sinus infections after recovering from the flu. Also sepsis, which is a whole body infection, is something that can happen. These are just some of the reasons why getting your flu shot every year is very, very important. If you have the flu, please make sure that you are talking to your doctor because you may qualify for antiviral medications to help you uh, deal with your symptoms a lot better. Make sure you stay home if you're sick. I have other videos on the flu. I'll make sure I link here. Just message me if you don't see them. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. Please subscribe to my channel. Please follow me on Facebook. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, etc. Um, I also sign up for my free health newsletter, drjencarlo.com.